know shockingly little about what really matters in terms of increasing children's well-being and how to sort of increase trajectories through life. And it's a complicated combination of schooling, family, social context. And I think this is a prime example of a place where we could be using this um, because we don't know how to move the needle. These interventions, educational interventions, always just make a little teeny little difference. And we have more and more and more and more data on families, children, social context, their health. And I feel like this is a prime context to really dive in and use the data for social good. So I'm quite excited about that. I thought these were all amazing points on the how to increase children's well-being. I'll just make an observation that techniques like this work best when we have incredibly rich, unstructured data. And to your point, Elizabeth, we are, we are getting so much live stream data on like how children talk, how children write things. We have essays about what they've done in school. And there's just so much of children's voices that are now somewhere that it's, I think that's just such a ripe area to understand what's, what are children implicitly or explicitly telling us.